All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 17. Could this be the end? Could we figure out what the artifacts are for, what the people that were here before us were for, and where everything leads? Maybe. Who knows? I don't. I have no idea. Uh, we gotta give her a few days to do stuff. So... Uh, do I want to climb the worm again? No. I need more worms to turn in. That's what I need. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna head up to this balloon and see if we can't find ourselves some more worms. All right, so I'm watching a video, but I have to comment on this. Uh, what the hell? It's got a whole sand ray. A delicacy in Red Sea, but eating sand rays is frowned upon elsewhere. Huh. Yeah, well, I don't plan on eating them. 
He's for the uh, vivarium. Yeah, I'm just fishing and watching videos, so this part will probably be sped up until whoop, we get to see what's going on. Alexandra. We'll wait for the graphics to load in.
Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Nobody knows how these fish survive in the harsh salted landscapes of the desotic waste, but without them, a delicate ecosystem that sustains creatures like pink necks would be disrupted. Interesting. much color. Try it on real quick. <laughs> what? That's silly. What is this area? There's a bucket here. Can we fish down here? Oh. 
Wait, I saw stuff on the other side as well. Hold on. Nothing. There is a bucket down here. I can't do with the ringing. The ringing will drive me crazy. I don't understand. I mean, it doesn't have to exist for a reason, but... There's just nothing down there. It just looks like something would be down there. Oh, I don't think we ever talked to this person. Machinist is a slow mover. Intentional in every action. As I approach, she crosses her arm and tilts her head back, looking me over, evaluating. I put saunter in my walk that I might seem a little more casual than I feel. Her greeting is a silent tip of her chin. I give a nod back. What's your name? She has a voice like gravel. I tell her my name. She extends a hand in greeting. Zahara. Zahara? What are you looking for? Someone tell you we were given those away. If you want a badge, I need to know you're somebody who can earn a badge. Come to the right place and feel the smirk. She isn't mocking. The only entertained. Didn't even think twice. I like that. You ever been to the Crystal Plateau? Yes. Ah, huh, good. Then this will be a breeze for you, right? Take a ride out there and harvest me some lightning crystals. You give me three of them, you get a badge. And I get to finish the parts I'm working on. Before you go, you've done this before? Parts said other things. Speak to Tara. He's the... And a friend. I'm right here. Pass them around in her hands, inspecting the crackling glow of each one. I stand impassive, my arms crossed this time. And you pulled it off, so it looks like I was right to send you. Concede with a shrug, she makes a good point. And for your trouble, you got yourself a badge. Another badge. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts, and I'm happy to offer them up for trade. If you've got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric, my ears work up. You have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it together piece by piece, bonding with a bike. Think of the soft static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on some moon's surface. It's how she brings to mind a basking beast. We do bond her and I, don't we? Um. Bye bike parts. Ooh. I'll buy it. Give her a ride real quick. Ooh. It's not gonna be nearly as top speed fast, but... Handling's better. Oh. 
Acceleration is much faster. Doing a lot of fishing. A lot of other stuff. I hope she's ready finally. I don't know how much longer I could wait. Nope, she's back over here. My bike's over there doing stuff. Upon seeing me... Here, all but leaps with excitement. Sable, I've been waiting for you. I decoded the final description. We're right. It was a game, a race, and you completed it exactly as intended. Do you know what that means? <laughs> really fast. Well, well, I mean, technically, it's not a measure of speed. It's more about completion. But I'm sure Samoon carried you quickly. Barely registers with me that she uses spoon. Sipoon. Samoon, despite never being introduced, and I don't get a chance to bring it up before she goes on. There's a prize, a real one. Once you complete the race, the pillars reveal the text, translate the text, and you get bike parts. Incredible ones, older in their design than I've ever seen, but perfectly elegant. You must try them, Sable. You must. Ooh, I can fit the parts to your own bike if you'd like to ride it now. Yes, please. Okay, let's... This bike. First shakes his head and shrugs. But it's in a nice way. The way you do it, something so grand, so beautiful, awe-inspiring that you can't help but feel small and sort of casually useless in its shadow. This bike is wonderful. I tell her I agree, and I thank her for the opportunity to find, to ride in an ancient race. I also explain that in playing the role game, I feel more connected to the past than I did hearing the drier bits of history. That's great. I mean, I mean it. That's... I don't know if I'm just a romantic or something, but I always have such a hard time connecting to the past without connecting to the people. Strange for machinists, and I think about it. I suppose it's strange for machinists somehow, but I find it comforting too. There really is room for all kinds behind all masks. I want you to keep the bike and bring it into a new era. Let it see how the world changed while it was sleeping. I don't ride my, I don't ride much myself nowadays, so it'll be in good hands with you. I get to be smug around the other machinists, which is all the reward I really need. I thank for... I know it's fear, but for... For her skill and generosity and head off. Oh, it turns blue! Wait, do I turn blue? I don't. Oh. Oh, man, it turns white. Back to the whale. Let's see if there's anything going on over there. If maybe that was the final piece to the puzzle, hopefully. If not, we're gonna have to do some more research. 
So do you get the Eggler mask as well? Find all the chew megs eventually. Be all green. Nope, still one red. Okay, so from what I know, um, I was supposed to leave a door open whenever I visited the Saren Terminal, and that unlocks everything. Once you get all six of those, you get the bike. So supposedly, I have everything. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck was that? As the cooler climbs of the Badlands floor, this fish is only remarkable in how unremarkable it is.
the hell is that? a storm fish? A unique fish that rides the aggressive movement of the sand that occurs during the sandstorm by expanding its an enormous span as if it were a bird about to take flight. That's terrifying. Let's catch another one. Yes, he says hello. Any brands? Cassie, how is she? Tell you she can. It's great to hear. You know, she mentioned me. What'd she say? She said you've got the knowledge. Honestly, I'm happy to hear that. I've always wondered what she thought. Worried she thought she failed me or something because she wasn't much for fishing. Who cares, I say. I just wanted to do what she loved. It sounds like she is. I think I'll go by the Vivarian sometime. Say hello myself. Thanks for that glider. Goodbye. Okay, let's see if maybe I can catch the fish I need. Dopey Tower we saw at the very beginning that I never stopped at. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed episode 17, please do not forget to like and possibly subscribe, especially if you're new here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.